How old do you think Kenshin really is? He looks pretty young, but according to the historical time period of where he's from, he should be way older, right? He's doing a pretty good job hiding his age, just like me, maybe. But anyways, Rooney Kenshin, my first time watching, first episode, pretty fun. Pacing was pretty good. I hope they can keep up with this because, you know, with Shonen series, sometimes the pacing can get really, really bad. But it's a remake, so fingers crossed. Let's begin. Oh, I thought he'd be like 48 or some shit. <laughs> So maybe, maybe he was like super, super young when he was, you know, in his prime, you know, he's doing all that Hitokiri Batusai stuff. This dude's still just holding his sword out in public with no, no covering like her? Alright. Did we get pickpocketed? Uh, cause you know, usually they run really fast, try to bump into you, and then they steal shit. Okay, she's not even ugly! What a nice guy. He probably needs him more? Damn. Wonder how he feels. He's like, damn, never had a guy like this just pity me and give me the money. Just take it back. I don't need this shit. Okay, you are a kid, but... Yeah, he... It was just a prank, bro? Hmm. This kid's pretty feisty, but the episode title was named after this kid. I'm gonna assume, you know, we'll take this kid in and probably teach him or something. Yeah, but last episode, you got pinned down by a cop. Like, alright. Hey, what about that, that Shinsengumi force in the intro scene of the last episode? You know, the guy that was going like, Shh, that pose? I wonder if he's around? Local gang. Damn. These grown ass men are fucking. <laughs> what, are, what, what are they? Fucking. Yaiko part of a gang? <laughs> Yo, fight back. But he probably can't fight back. Kenshin, where are you? Yaiko's probably part of this gang because, you know, he's got nothing else. He's gotta survive. So what? He, he just gotta go pickpocket and like get money for them? We should learn swordsmanship and kill them. Wait, no killing though. That's against Kenshin's, you know. It's swordsmanship. Oh shit. Did this dude really get caught again? Uh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I guess he ran a lot, but... We gotta bribe him again. Or, or just go to jail. Sword Baron... Is this the Shinsengumi? Sword Baron Police? They look a little bit different, right? Look, look, Kenshin's eyes changed too. Yo, what? I guess there's like, you know, tears of cops. The guys that hoard the sword can abuse their power, right? These pieces of shit, man. The cops, no matter the era, they're all trash. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Buddy, you really want to try this? Ooh, I don't need to, you know, abuse my power like you. If, she, if he attacks her, though. Bro! I think it was just the hairband. I thought they actually cut her up. Humi nah, dude, fuck him up, Kenshin! Dude, who's really the bad guys here? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Dude, fuck the sword burn police. The people should rise up. They are thugs. I mean, if you think about it, even in the modern era, the police are basically the biggest organized, you know, syndicate crime group. They can just basically have a, a legal reason to establish violence. They can just do it because, you know, who else is going to stop them? Kind of, you know, conspiracy theory and stuff, but okay, let's fight. Yeah, he goes watching. Oh, one versus I don't even know how many. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he keeps calling him pants. <laughs> kind of... Yes, it's a dull blade so we don't kill your ass. He probably just wants to provoke Kenshin to pull his sword and do something to have like a legal reason to like pull them in to prison, I guess, but if we knock him out, if we just knock him out and beat them here, hey, I think we can get away with it. Ain't no way he's gonna lose. This is some like really important Japanese historical context, Meiji era, revolution, stuff that I'm very ignorant about, but okay, Kenshin was a very important key figure in that. <laughs> this fucking guy, you, I, you gotta still respect the hustle, right? He waited how many years for the entire plan? <laughs> no, he got off screen! No! Show me the battle! Man, I can't believe they skipped the fight! I wanted to see it! No, there's still a couple of them standing. What is that logic? Hey, you! We were going easy on you because you were outnumbered? <laughs> Don't get cocky! <laughs> Bro, the copium is insane! Get the fuck out of my face! Go! But... Is that his name? Okay, good! He's still up! He's still up! Good, good, good! I love how the public is saying fuck the police! Look at the way he's holding the sword, it's so cool. This guy! Alright, knock him out. <laughs> oh no! A famous strike, but shouldn't be anything to Kenshin. Okay. He's too fast. Imagine if we were using the other side of the fucking hill. This fucking piece of shit. He's probably not even gonna learn from this either. Now, Yahiko looked pretty impressed. There. He's probably gonna be like, please take me as your uh, master. Please. Uh, sorry, apprentice. Oh, free food, I'm down. Like they were both part of the revolution back in the day? General? Okay. Super important person. Very important person. What's Yahiko gonna do from here on out? Waiting your return. He wants Kenshin to assume a government position to lead a group? But I don't think he wants to do that. He's just chilling. Kenshin has some really deep past going on. I'll still take you up on the offer of free drinks and food, though. Alright, bye. Hmm. We are really just out of meta. You know, the samurai are just retired. But... Oh? Oh? <laughs> he says as he touches her shoulder. Oh! <laughs> He's talking about me, right? Now, I guess his entire deal is, you know, he, he's done what he had to do in the past, led the revolution. Now in this different era, his goal is to just wander around, save as many people as he can in his own way, with his pacifist style. I guess. <laughs> Safer than the canes. You should have hide your fucking. Oh! Oh, they cut it up! No! Get her a new one! He was pretty cool there, right? Yeah, those eyes are totally different. Yaiko, go find them! Make him teach you, come on! Wait, what? What? Did she just give us money? Or did she just drop it? I'm confused. Was that lady just giving money to him or did she accidentally drop it and now he's gonna have to maybe give it back to her to see that he grew? I, I don't know what the fuck that was about. Oh, he returned the money! Looks like he learned. Kid, what are you gonna do? You gotta go find Kenshin! 
He's gonna train by himself. Okay. Maybe Kenshi's gonna be around and give him some tips. I don't know. Nah, it's the fucking gang again. These grown ass men really got nothing better to do but bully this like 10 year old kid. Oh, Yakuza. Oh. How, how do you fucking live with yourself? Like, bro, you're a grown ass man beating down a child. Even he's like, this is fucked up. We're leaving you losers. Look at those eyes. They're still alive. Huh. A sense of respect after seeing Kenshin in action. I think he really wants to be a better person now. I mean, you saw how he returned the money. Kenshin, where? I guess next episode, Kenshin just gonna suddenly show up out of nowhere in the riverbank, do something really cool, scare those guys off, and then he'll take Yaiko in to be a student. There's no way we're not gonna take Yaiko in, right? Descendant of Tokyo Samurai. The fucking episode title was his name. It's gotta be our next apprentice. Plus, you know, she's been saying that we need like a new student in the dojo anyways. Now, got a little bit more of a glimpse in Kenshin's backstory. He's a totally different person now, even though he used to be like this like murderous, insane manslayer. I kind of want to see that side more of him, but hey, that means that other people that he loves has to be hurt in order for that side to show up, which is kind of fucked up. But I mean, come on, do you blame me? I want to see some more action. But hey, we're still here. If you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.